Well, hello and welcome to another episode of How Far Can It Go, a series in which I take some less competitive Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes and see just how far up the Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel rank ladder I can climb with them. In this episode, I'll be playing a deck I wanted to try out since the new support came out in the TCG, and seeing as they got a new structure deck in Master Duel, I thought I might as well give them a shot. Of course, I'm talking about Ninja. Believe it. Ninja is kind of a strange archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's been around almost for the entirety of the game, from way back when Armed Ninja and Crimson Ninja were around, later they got support in the form of some monster cards and ninjutsu art spell and trap cards, but they never had a clear game plan as an archetype. They kinda got one in the Pendulum era, but it didn't see much success. But now, with their latest support line, they are a force to be reckoned with. Anyway, Ninja is an archetype of monsters that don't have different levels, types and attributes, and most of them do something when they are special summoned or flipped face up and they also like to put either your own or your opponent's monsters face down. And they are supported by ninjutsu spell and trap cards, the spells often being the searchers or can set stuff directly to your field, and the traps are mostly used to tribute a ninja monster to special summon another monster from your deck. So let's get to the deck profile and see what it is exactly that they can do. Starting us off I play 3 copies of Tobari the Sky Ninja. It's a level 1 earth winged beast monster with the following effect. This card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect the turn it is special summoned or flipped face up. You can also send it from your hand to the graveyard to special summon a ninja monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. And during your opponent's main or battle phase, you can fusion summon a ninja monster using monsters from your field or hand as materials. So it has some level of protection and if your opponent could somehow get rid of it, you can just fusion it away into another monster and it can special summon a ninja monster from your hand to use their effect. All in all a good card and a definite three off. Next is 3 copies of Mitsu the Insect Ninja, a level 2 water insect monster, that can be special summoned from your hand if you could throw a ninja monster or a face down defense position monster. And when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can target one of your face down defense position monsters, change it to face up defense position and discard to face down defense position, and if the targeted monster was a ninja except Mitsu, the opponent's monster effect is negated. So it can basically special summon itself for free to provide more bodies for a fusion summon, and it's also a form of disruption so again no reason to play any less than 3. Next up I'm playing 2 copies of Green Ninja, a level 2 Wind Warrior monster that says if a monster or monsters is special summoned to your field in face up position, you can target one of them change it to face down defense position and special summon this monster from your hand. And if it's sent from your hand or field to the graveyard, you can target one monster on the field and change it to either face up attack position or face down defense position. This is also technically a form of disruption, if you use it as fusion material during your opponent's turn with Tobari's effect. But it can sometimes be a brick in your hand so I'm running only two. Following that we have two copies of Baku the Beast Ninja. It's a level 2 wind beast monster and it can be special summoned if it's added to your hand other than by drawing it. And if it is special summoned or flips face up, you can target one ninja or ninjutsu art cards that are in your graveyard or face up in the spell and trap zone and return them to your hand. So it provides some form of recursion to the deck and the special summon effect is also pretty easy to pull off in this deck, but it's also one of those cards that can be bricky in your hand so I'm only running two copies. After that we have 3 copies of Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. It's a level 4 Dark Warrior monster and when it is normal summoned you can add one ninjutsu art card from your deck to your hand and when it's special summoned or flipped face up you can add one ninja monster from your deck to your hand. Except itself. This is the best searcher and best top deck in the deck. It can get you anything you need in pretty much any situation. That's pretty good for a card that came out years ago and it also helps its effects are not once per turn. Next is 3 copies of Kagero the Cannon Ninja, which is a level 4 Fire Warrior monster. And if this card is normal summoned, special summoned or flipped face up, it can special summon a ninja monster from your hand or graveyard in face down defense position except Kagero the Cannon Ninja. And when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets exactly one ninja monster or exactly one face down monster you control, and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in face down defense position and return the targeted monster to the hand. And it's a quick effect so it works on your opponent's turn as well. 
so it's both protection and recursion in the same effect, and the special summon effect and special summon any ninja monster regardless of level, so you can even special summon higher level monsters. Sure they go face down, but they can still be used as materials for a contact fusion into their new fusion monsters, which we'll get to later. So I feel 3 is just the right number of copies for this card. And finally for the ninja monsters, I play 2 Geo the Gravity Ninja, which is a level 8 earth rock monster. And if this card is normal summoned, special summoned or flipped face up, you can target up to 2 face up monsters on the field and change them to face down defense position. And your opponent's monsters that are flipped face down with this effect cannot change their battle position. Also if a monster is flipped face up while this card is face up on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. And I gotta say, I love pulling off this effect, changing up to two of your opponent's monsters face down and they can't change their battle position, and then you just leave them there and use later for your own benefit, using some cards we'll be discussing later. All in all, it's a great feeling, but since it's a level 8 monster, I think running 3 copies would be a bit too much. And finally for the monsters, I run 2 copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. I run it both to stop my opponent's play and as a target for cross out designator so my opponent can stop my plays. But I only run 2 copies because I want to see it sometimes, not all the times. For the spells, I run some staple cards such as Harpy's Feather Duster, Reinforcement of the Army, Pot of Prosperity, 2 Kong by the Grave and as I said 1 cross out designator and 3 Book of Moon because this deck loves having stuff face down. And for the ninjutsu art spells, I play one copy of Ninjutsu R2 Iron Dagger. It's an equipped spell that gives 500 attack to the equipped monster. And the equipped monster is also treated as a ninja monster. And it also has two other effects. One is you can banish one ninja monster from your graveyard to target one card on the field and destroy it. And the other is if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished ninja monsters and either add it to your hand or special summon it in face down defense position. So it provides a nice attack boost, it can get rid of some problematic cards and if it's removed from the field you get a banished ninja monster back. And since it is searchable and recurrable, I think running one is quite enough. And the final spell is 3 copies of Ninjutsu Art Notebook of Mystery. It's a quick play spell that says if your opponent controls a card, you can set one ninja monster and one ninjutsu art spell or trap other than itself from your deck or graveyard, but only one can come from each. And if this set card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one face up monster on the field and change it to face down defense position. And of course the effects are once per turn. This is probably the best ninjutsu art spell. The only downside to it is that your opponent has to control a card, but that just makes it a great going second card and a comeback card. It also requires some graveyard setup to get its full effect, but if your opponent controls a card, you probably have something in your graveyard. Finally for the trap cards, I play 3 copies of infinite impermanence for monster effect negation and for the ninjutsu art cards, I play 1 copy of ninjutsu art of duplication, otherwise known as which says activate this card by tributing 1 ninja monster. Special summon any number of ninja monsters from your deck in face up attack and or face down defense position with combined levels less than or equal to the level of the tributed monster. And when this card leaves the field destroy those monsters. Great card for swarming the field and getting any ninja monster with a lower level than the one you currently have. And since it is easily searchable I only run one copy. And finally I play 3 copies of ninjutsu art of dancing leaves. And you activate this card by targeting one ninja or one face down defense position monster on the field, even on your opponent's side, tribute it and special summon a ninja monster from your deck. And if this card leaves the field send that monster to the graveyard. And you can also target one face up ninjutsu art continuous spell or trap card in your spell and trap zone and return it to your hand. And this is also another reason why you would want your opponent's monsters to be set face down. So you can tribute them and special summon one of your ninja monsters. So it's both removal and swarming in one card. And now for the extra deck. I run 3 copies of Yagura Maru the Armor Ninja. It's a fusion monster that requires 2 ninja monsters with different types and it must first be fusion summoned or special summoned from your extra deck by tributing the above mentioned monsters. And if this card is special summoned or flipped face up, you can banish one other ninja or ninjutsu art from your hand or graveyard or face up on the field, then target one card on the field and banish it. 
which is another great form of removal and pretty easy to pull off. Next is 3 copies of Mazen the Battle Ninja, another fusion monster that requires the same materials and has the same summoning conditions, and its effect says your ninja monsters can attack directly. While you control a face down defense position monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. And when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special summon one ninja monster from your deck in face up or face down defense position. So if your opponent still has some set monsters, this card allows them to attack around them, so you can use them later. And of course special summoning monsters from your deck is always a good thing. In this case you just have to wait for your opponent to do something, but if you time it right, you can disrupt their plays pretty easily. So it's no wonder this monster is the new face of ninja. Next is one copy of Blade Armor Ninja, a rank 4 Xyz monster that requires 2 realm 4 warrior monsters that can give a ninja monster the ability to attack twice this turn by detaching a material, then 3 copies of ninja grandmaster Saizo, a link 2 monster that requires 2 ninja monsters which can set a ninjutsu art card from your deck to the field during your main phase, and while it points to a monster it cannot be targeted for an attack and your opponent cannot target it with card effects. This is basically another way to get your ninjutsu art cards on the field. Next is one copy of Cross Sheep, which is mostly used for the fusion effect, which can bring back a level 4 or lower monster from your graveyard if you fusion summon. Next is one copy of Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy, which is a good card in the mirror match, and then some powerful removal and OTK enablers like Nightmare Unicorn, Boron Sword Dragon and Access Code Talker. So that's the list and now let's see how it performs. And as always, I'll stop when I either reach master rank or I drop a rank. Ah yes, this just wouldn't be an episode of how far can it go without a branded match. Yeah, I don't think there's a world where I don't negate this. Oh yeah, love to see it. Okay, let's set Tobari. And now I can special summon Mitsu. Oh, he has something. Well, I guess it's not Max C. Right, let's go for Mason. And now I can fire off the notebook for the full effect. Ah, an Ash Blossom, eh? Right, let's get full advantage of this. First by activating Mason. And then by chaining Pong by the Grave. Uh, let's see... Ah, let's just get Green Ninja. And with the notebook let's set Tobari. And the Shadow Clone Jutsu, why not? Let's get some damage in. Set the other notebook. And that's it for now. I might as well fire off this notebook right away. And let's get Kagero for some protection potentially. And now let's trade the Kagero for another Mitsu and Tobari. Right, that's one monster negate and a fusion summon during my opponent's turn, so this should be okay. Well, so much for the monster negate. Oh boy, this might be a problem. Yeah, this one has to go through now. Let's 
let's see, he should go for Ongbion first, right? So if I banish it, he may not have any impact from play, so let's go for it. Yeah, let's get rid of that pesky dragon. Huh, looks like he can still summon something. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Oh yeah, that one's not gonna be a problem. Huh, <laughs> especially now that I do this. Yeah, sit your ass down, boy. And let's reset this guy as well. Ooh, that's a nice top deck. But I'm gonna save it for later and get rid of the back row this way. And while I'm at it, let's get rid of that dragon as well. And yeah, this should be game. Timing on Branded never gets old. Okay, second rank up in Platinum rank. Let's keep the streak going. Yo, is that Lullaby of Obedience? Huh, let's see what monster he'll pick. Wow, what luck to bump into one of the few players in Platinum that doesn't run a Kashtira engine. <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. Okay, let's do this. Oh, looks like no interruptions. Well, nothing much I can do. I just get some damage in and set the two traps and that's it. Right, let's try firing this off right away. Oh cool, it goes through. And of course I'm gonna set up a negate and a fusion summon. Good thing I already have a green ninja in my hand. That's another form of interruption right there. Especially against Kashtira, which I presume he's playing. Oh boy, here it comes. Well, might as well fusion summon right away then. Let's go for Mason in this situation. Yep, there it is. Yeah, let's banish everything except for Mason. Huh, looks like he finally found a Kashtira monster. Huh, he's getting rid of the Fenrir. Uh, let's fire off the Mason while I still can. Let's get the good boy on the field. And from the graveyard, let's head back. Oh, Hanzo is a good pick, I think. Ah, shit. Is he gonna draw two more? Oh, he's gonna take one of my cards? Looks like he really doesn't want me to have that Hanzo back. Oh boy, it's time for some Kashtira shenanigans. Yo, what the hell? Man, something bad always happens when someone plays this card. 
I'm not looking forward to it. Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting, but okay. No, my maze then. Well, let's see if I can turn this situation back in my favor somehow. Okay, let's get Tobari back, so I don't have to waste my normal summon on Kagero. And let's special summon Kagero with Tobari. Let's see if this will go through. Oh yeah, it got negated. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. No matter, I still have some plays. Let's get another Baku on the field. Oh yeah, let's go for Saizo. Oh boy, I guess Fenrir is coming back. Well, he can only target monsters, so let's go for Saizu's effect to set a spell or trap to my field. And let's set the equip spell. Oh, he's targeting Baku. Oh, wait a minute. Hagaro returns it to the hand. Yeah, let's do this. And now I can special summon it back. <laughs> so now instead of losing a monster, I got an additional monster to the field. Okay, let's get rid of that Fender and get another monster back as well. Ah shit, that spell card can banish cards from my graveyard. Oh, thank god there are four monsters. Yeah, let's get another good boy on the field. And it's time to bring Mason back. And there should be enough damage, but just in case, let's go for Yaguramaru and banish that pesky Kashtira spell card. I guess he didn't want to waste any more time. Oh boy, Sword Soul. Yeah, not letting you search any of your good normal summons. Ah, looks like he had one anyway. But it's not the best one. Oh, a drag I pass. Eh, yeah, seems readable. Ooh, nice, I needed another ninja name. Oh, looks like there are no negates or anything, nice. Ah, well, let's get rid of the drag I... And since I already used Yaguramaru, let's go for Mazen as well. Yo, what the hell? Magic Cylinder? Honestly, that's the last thing I expected from this deck. Oh well, might as well get another monster from it. Let's get the Chunky Boy out. Oh 
<laughs> Good thing I didn't set both of them. Ah, come on, Raigeki too. Well, Tobari can get destroyed to turn his special summon, so let's get him. Well, at least it seems he can't do anything else. Ah, man, I would have preferred if that was a monster. Oh well, let's just set the trap and hope he will set a monster. Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah, let's fire this off. Get another chunky boy and set that more, yeah. Oh, he has that guy already. Well, it's a good thing he doesn't have any other cards in hand to special summon him. Alright, he can triple summon him as well. Well, here comes Baron, I guess. Well, there goes my field. But you know what, actually the equipped spell is kinda useful right now, even against Baron. Oh boy, and that's the best top deck I could have hoped for. Right, let's bait out the Baron negate. I don't get to summon a banished ninja. Ah well, I should still be fine because I still have Hanzo. And let's get the notebook with his effect. And now we're off to the races. You know what? Let's set the equip spell back. And I don't know, let's say green ninja. And this time it should work. Oh yeah. And time to bring out another Mason. And let's hope he won't top deck anything bad. Bad for me, that is. A set card, eh? eh should be able to play around it. Ooh, oh boy, and that's another great top deck for me. Yeah, let's try to get rid of that back row. Oh, it looks like it wasn't anything special. And it's time for another rank up game. Hopefully not the last. Oh great, another chance to style on Brandon. Let's see, what does this do exactly? Mm, yeah, they seem Ash worthy. Oh, they could still get to him. Well, it's a good thing I have an infinite impermanence for it. Yeah, let's just get rid of that back row. Oh 
Oh, he has a response. Yeah, I'd say that's the right response in this situation. Okay, just a little longer and I'll be out of platinum. Let's see if I can reach diamond two months in a row. Well, that's not exactly a bad hand. But it can be better. So let's try Prospy here. Oh no, not today. Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely grabbing Hanzo. And of course the Shadow Clone Jutsu. And might as well make Mazen. Yep, this doesn't really look like much, but it's a deceptively strong board. Hmm, Book of Eclipse, eh? Well, I guess I'll just use Mazen while I still can. Let's get the biggest level guy so I can summon more ninjas from my deck. Ooh, it's Kashtira. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this one is worth negating. Okay, yeah, this one I have to get rid of. Wait, he's banishing Yagura Maru? He's leaving me with the monster negate? Well, okay. Let's see, let's banish Fenrir just in case he has the monster reborn spell and set unicorn. Yeah, I don't want him to have any Kashtira monsters on the field, so I'm negating this. Now hopefully he doesn't have a rice heart. Oh good, he doesn't. Oh nice, and I get to draw two additional cards. Hehe. <laughs> okay, let's get this advantage engine rolling. Yeah, at this point this is fine. And this should be quite enough. Oh boy, Platinum 1 has been a rough ride. This may be the end of my journey, but let's see if I can turn it around. Oh boy, it's heroes. Actually, they're not really known for crazy end boards, so maybe I can pull it off. Okay, there's DPE, but I have Kong by the Grey for it, so nothing to worry about. Oh boy, 3 sets. That doesn't look good. Yeah, no DPE for you. I mean, he still gets a monster, but I don't think there's anything I have to worry about. Well, let's start probing that back row. Oh, I guess Dark Mo is coming. 
Yep, there it is. Oh good, he didn't take any important cards. Well, let's try digging for something else good. And of course he has an ash. Just when I spent my Kong by the grave. Well, let's try this then. I guess I don't mind if a Mitsu gets banished. Oh boy, another Book of Eclipse. Well, let's just get the guy with the biggest defense. Ah, damn it, I can't draw any more cards because of prosperity. Oh well. Uh, let's just get rid of that dark mode right away. And let's get the guy that can do something during my opponent's turn. Oh nice, now I can get rid of the final back row. And yeah, might as well banish whatever he summons now. Oh wow, he's really going all in. He doesn't have any protection, right? Oh good, he doesn't. Well, it looks like I still have a shot at diamond. Okay, I made it to the top of platinum. Now let's see if I can do it. Okay, so far nothing. Is he holding a maxi? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, let's give him one more draw. Oh, let's just set three cards and hope he doesn't have a Harpy's Feather Duster. Well, I guess he didn't have anything. Eh, a bit underwhelming, but I managed to get to Diamond again. Now this is the test of a true Doomist. If I can rank up another time in Diamond, it means I can reach pretty far. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, let's use her effect. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong one! Shit, they're both the same type, so now I can't summon any fusions. Oh well, guess I'm just past. Oh, you know, that's actually not that bad for me. Cause now I can do this. First use the graveyard effect to set his kaiju. And now I can use the effect from the one in my hand to set my kaiju and special summon it. Oh boy. Hope he banishes all his important cards. Ah great. Shit, is this bright? Oh boy, I guess you can start calling me American Sniper, because I never miss. And let's get this one back as well. Ah, come on, how many of those draw cards does he have? Oh wow, maybe he did banish all his important cards. Alright, let's get rid of that back row.
Oh wow, why they did that? And let's get this engine started. Let's also set up some traps for next turn. And may as well switch this Kaiju to attack. Okay, let's set this one and that should be enough. Of course, let's immediately get rid of that Kaiju. And let's see, let's get Mitsu so I have a monster negate ready. Wow, must have been a bad hand. The guy is about to commit Sudoku. Oh hey, a Pyramid deck. Haven't seen this one in a while. Hope I still know how to play against it. Yo, what? Was that a volcanic shell? I mean, I guess they give him this card folder. Oh, Mirimus can some blue robin as well. That's one base promi player right there. Okay, so what do I have to worry about? A monster effect negate, the trap card that can exceed into a promi noir, and uh, Robina that can bounce my special sound monsters, eh? But I just might be able to pull it off with this hand. Okay, that's the one that draws him a card, so I won't do anything here. Oh, and a max C, eh? Must be nice. But I don't think I'm going by the grave that one. And now it's time to use Book of Moon. Well, first of all, let's summon Tobari. Now let's use this notebook so I can set the Shadow Clone Jutsu. And let's also set everything else in my hand and just hope for the best. Of course, let's immediately card this one off. Ooh, an ash, eh? Let's see, Cone by or Cross Out? I think Cross Out is the better one here. Oh, he's gonna bounce before I can set it down, huh? Yeah, sure, I can still use my effect as well. Oh, he's using the monster effect negate as well. Too bad it targets and I have this to get rid of the target. And also swarm the field at the same time. And of course I'm gonna get notebook back with the puppy. He really is a good boy. Should I call by the grace some of them? Yeah, let's get the black one out of there. Oh, Magnum with the last card in hand. Yeah, that's a good meat to negate. So now he has nothing I should worry about in his hand. Alright, we can get a spell card with this one.
Yeah, I always choose the middle one. Yeah, this is a good time to use Tobari. Yep, figured he'd summon the one that isn't negated. Okay, let's banish the spell with Yaguramaru. And let's set this kitty cat with the green ninja's effect. And now whatever he adds shouldn't matter. Yep, just as I thought. Wow, Diamond is actually kinda easy. I'm already about to rank up to Diamond too. Oh, and I also want the coin toss, so I should have this in the bag. Oh yeah, that's actually a good hand. Okay, this time let's summon the one with the different type. And yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this board. Well, I mean, if it's gonna negate it anyway, I might as well use the effect. Ash, hey? Well, at least I knocked out two cards out of his hand. Oh boy, it's Cash Tira. Oh yeah, this is definitely Book of Moon worthy. Oh, just a set back row. Hmm, do I use this now or... Nah, I don't think I'll wait for my turn. Okay, let's fire it off now. Let's get Hanzo, of course. To search the puppy. And he can special summon himself now. And let's get Kagero back so I can build some more gold advantage. Yeah, I'd run as well if I was him. Okay, suddenly Diamond is not as easy as it was before. I guess all the good players are in Diamond 2 and higher. Well, I guess this might be it for me. But who knows, maybe I'll squeeze in another win. Let's find out. Man, you just can't get rid of tier moments. Well, this may not look like much, but this is tier moments after all and they can play during my turn as well. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I figured this wasn't going to... Oh wow, they have a negate for that as well. Great, now the big guy's here and he's gonna get rid of my only monster, I bet. Okay, let's try this then. Wow, he just has the answer for everything. <sighs> well, looks like this is it. Oh well, but at least it is a fun ride.
And there you have it, I managed to get to Diamond 2 with ninjas. So yeah, the deck is not bad at all. And since it did so good, I decided to try it out in the Duelist Cup. Hopefully it will fare just as long there, and maybe I can reach the second stage, let's find out. Ooh, Labyrinth. This is the matchup that requires the most thinking on my part. And if I can win against it, especially going second, it's a pretty good showcase of how skillfully I can use this deck. So let's see if I pass the test. Let's go for Yagura Maru here. And let's target the field spell, after all he can just chain the trap cards if I target them. Ah oh man, that doesn't require a different chain. Hmm, you know what, I'm actually gonna let him summon this guy. Because now I can equip him with my equip spell. And of course he changed his effect to this. And now let's go by the grave it. And now I can special summon my banished Mitsu. Let's get two more cards with this notebook here. Let's get the equip back. And also Kagero for some targeting protection. Let's get rid of that freshly set trap. Attack over the Lady Labyrinth. Mm, let's hold off from the effects for now. And let's fire it off now. Let's set the lady, so hopefully he won't be able to activate that trap. Oh nice, looks like he has no fiends in his hand, at least none that he can summon. So let's fire off my own trap card. Time to swarm the field with ninjas. Oh wait, that has a graveyard effect, right? Ah, so let's banish it. Oh nice, he's ending his turn. And now let's just flip Yagura Maru and banish the other trap. Oh, guess he had enough. Man, how many trap based decks are in this tournament? But oh well, I have Harpy's Feather Duster, so I should be okay. Man, they always have it. Yeah, 
yeah, sure, why not just get a free rank 4? You know, someone really gave it their own when they were making that Rafflesia animation. I kinda respect that. Man, gotta love that second normal summon. Kinda wish I had that. Yeah, let's just get rid of that back row. Okay, let's try this. Oh, there's one negate taken care of. Hopefully there isn't another one. And yeah, just a free set of another trap card, why not? Man, that's way too many effects for a Link 1. Anyway, let's get rid of that trap card. Now let's put Rafnesia in attack. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of her like this. Get another ninja, and then I can go into Mason. Seriously, another one? Well, at least he doesn't have any more in his deck. But let's just set him so he doesn't have any link shenanigans or something. Alright, this thing can reborn as well. I might as well use it. Wow, that was enough for him to spook? Well, fine by me. Oh wow, Tri Brigade. Been a while since I saw one of those. Yeah, I'm not letting you wing summon that easily. Oh, and Mirror Musk as well. Hmm, maybe it's just a bluff and he doesn't have another one in hand, so let's set Keras. Ah shit, he had one. Oh well, I still have ways to get rid of them. Yeah, let's negate that. And let's special summon the big rock guy. Oh, hoping that one draw won't do any difference. Ooh, nice. Now I'm free to pop off. Okay, this wasn't really popping off, but I'm still in the commanding position. Ooh, that's a nice top deck. Yeah, let's go for Tobari so I can fusion summon. And let's also go for Green Ninja so I can both banish one and set the other one. Yep, that don't do it. Oh, this isn't really a good hand. Well, I just set those two and we'll see how it goes. Yep, 
Yeah, definitely ashing this one. Oh <laughs> wow, another pot. And another trap base deck. Love to see it. But wouldn't you know it, I have Feather Duster again. I guess it's a skill issue. Hmm, still not a very good hand. And I'm gonna wait another turn. Hopefully I survive that long. Oh yeah, now we can start cooking with gas. Of course, first we'll get rid of the back row. Let's get... I think Green Ninja is a good one. Alright, he's gonna get a bunch of traps now. Uh, let me get some more cards while we're at it. Oh, looks like he's bringing out the big guns. Well, it's time for this train to get derailed. And by that I mean put in face down defense position. Ah, oh, Kurikara. Eh, nothing too major. Good thing he's attacking the one that can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Oh, that's a lot of back row. Now let's see if I can maneuver all of them. Let's go for this one first. And let's set him so I can use the effect later as well. Alright, he can take one of my monsters. Yeah, not letting that one happen. Well, let's get rid of another one. Let's go for this one. Oh wow, it just had to be chainable. Well, we just set this green ninja and see if it will be enough. Yep, the boy is back. Oh, he also has one. Yeah, I know this won't do anything, but let's just do it. Yeah, made you press an extra button. How do you like that? Oh, great, another one. Well, at least I can prevent more damage. Ooh, that's a great top deck. Yeah, time to fire off this bad boy. Ah shit, that's a big guy. Okay, I still have some life points left, maybe I can pull it off. Hmm, this could actually be useful.
Ah, oh, man, I love recycling. And it's time for the boy to come back. And put all of these ones to face down defense position. Ah yeah, I knew it would come in handy. And once again I top deck the best card in my deck. Whew, just one more turn and it's over. Oh boy, Mad Max. This brings back some bad memories. Ah, oh, that one also special summoned itself. Ah, oh, let's do it now. Oh, a chalice. Well, good that it targets. Let's bring back Kagero. And let's bring out the big guy. Yeah, no more face up monsters to synchro or XCs for you. Oh shit. Wow, Raigeki. Unusual choice, but okay. Unfortunately, nothing I can do about that. Oh good, he doesn't have any plays either. Oof, let's hope this Book of Moon will be enough to disrupt him. Yeah, no way, I'm giving you a second monster on the field. Oh shit, he contributes down, right. Yeah, let's put this one face down just in case. Whew, once again saved by the top deck. Man, I love that notebook. Yeah, let's also get rid of that driver and get a ninja back. And it's time for the main miner to come to the field again. Yep, let's get some damage in. And that should be it for this turn. And let's just get rid of that one, he can pull it face up. Ooh, nice, just skipping turn. Love to see it. Yeah, that's useless for now. So let's just get in for some damage. What does that bridge into? Oh, Kurikara. Well, damn. 
This might get bad. Oh, he's going for that first. Well, I guess I'm just fusion summon then. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And there she is. He's gonna take. Oh, yeah, Gramar. Oh, now I have another target I can tribute with my trap. Ooh, that's a good one. Saves me from a top decked Ash Blossom. Top deck pong by the grave. those notebook top decks oh boy that gives him two monsters and ah, that's okay I can still work around it and now I can take care of both those monsters Just putting things face down mechanic. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste Kong by the grave on this maxi. I don't plan on special summoning anything anyway. I just said this and pass turn. Ah, oh boy. Well, might as well power them off. Let's just banish this maxi just in case. And get a green ninja. Penry, eh? Is it Kashtira or is it just an engine? Oh, I guess it is Kashtira. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, time to fire off Tobari. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my monster, but still I can do some damage. Of course I'm gonna banish the spell card and set the Fenrir. when setting their monster ends their turn. Whew, this deck is just full of good top decks. Yup, this guy gets it. 
Ah, god damn it. This one will also get rid of my monsters. So might as well fusion summon amazing while I still can. Is this what I think it is? Yup, Mikanko. Yeah, this should be a good time to use this. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Well, this top deck does. Oh boy, that's a fun interaction. Yeah, let's get rid of that annoying monster. And might as well clear the back row while I'm at it. That was a good hit. Yeah, this is acceptable. But this isn't. Oh, is he gonna take one of my monsters? He doesn't have Amikanko on the field anymore, so it comes back to me. Nice. Now that's what I call back and forth gameplay. Ah, oh, look, another card that targets. It's good that I have just the thing for it. And I get to put another monster on the field. Nice. I don't even know what this does, but let's just get rid of it just in case. And that should be more than enough damage. Man, that was a fun Duelist Cup, even though I didn't manage to get to the second stage. I got stuck somewhere on Duelist level 18 or 17 or something like that. But yeah, the deck really performed well. I like that it has a bunch of good top decks, which can save some seemingly lost games. If I had to change anything about the deck, I would probably try to find room for another equip spell. It's a pretty clutch card and very useful. Other than that, I pretty much like this build, and I had a lot of fun playing it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye!